Good evening and welcome to the news hour. The entire country is celebrating the season. As news was given out by the Indian Army in a press briefing this morning that India had carried out surgical strikes across the line of control in Pakistan occupied Kashmir. In the course of the news hour tonight, I'll give you full details of the operations. What has happened after that and the high level of preparedness across the entire country. But viewers, I just want to start with a broader point about how we all need to realize that this is not just about the forces acting across the line of control. This is about you and this is about me. I want to reiterate the point that the Director General Military Operations made today that there was information that had our brave soldiers not gone in and had our brave soldiers not destroyed these eight terror launch pads, there were at least hundreds of terrorists on the other side who would have come across before the snow set in and blocked the infiltration route and they were planning attacks across India in big Indian cities with terrorist attacks that could have affected you, your loved ones or me or anyone out here with terror attacks and hence what these forces did was protect us in a very direct way. So those of us who think that we are too distant from what has happened on the LOC, the fact of the matter is we are not. Those who think that we owe nothing to the Indian Army and they are doing their, their job, they better realize that they owe it. They owe it big time to the Indian Army who have once again kept us safe. And a lot of us, a lot of us forget that we sleep peacefully at, at night because they don't. We need to understand that. We need to respect the Indian Army. We need to give them the space, the respect and the powers. And if anyone thinks today that supporting the Indian Army or saying that give the Indian Army more support and don't criticize them and don't question them because they defend us after incidents like terrorist Burhan Wani is killing, those people who say that supporting the Indian Army is jingoism, they need to really correct themselves today. And if some of my fellow journalists call me jingoistic for, for that, let them, I like you, love my country with all its contradictions, but today I really salute the Indian Army. I salute them. And today we can only say thank you to each and every one of those forces who went across, killed the terrorists and came back and showed such clinical precision and professionalism that few forces anywhere in the world would be able to match. So proud of them today and therefore a big salute to them right on top of the news hour this evening. Debating tonight on the news hour this evening. And debating tonight on the news hour this evening. Pakistan in a complete bind. It doesn't know what to do, whether to accept, whether not to. It's in a mess inside. We've carried out surgical strikes. The poor Pakistani establishment isn't even able to accept that they've been hit so badly. That's at 10 p.m. tonight, also following up on this big edition of the News Hour this evening, on this special edition tonight. No more kid gloves? Yes, absolutely none. The gloves are off vis-a-vis -vis the Pakistanis, and that's the way it's going to stay till they learn to behave. That's coming up at 10 p.m. And here are the headlines this Thursday evening on the News Hour tonight. The Indian Army conducted surgical strikes last night. The op operations were basically focused to ensure that these terrorists do not succeed in their design of infiltration. Eight terrorist launch pads destroyed. Pakistan shocked. Over 35 Pakistani terrorists killed across the line of control. The pa Indian Army has taught the Pakistani Army and its terror bases a big lesson. Decisive military action by India sends the world a message on India's strong military resolve to fight terrorism. I have conveyed to Pakistan that such action will not be tolerated. The Narendra Modi government walks the talk, puts an end to the hands tied diplomacy. The strong political resolve makes Pakistan pay. All political parties back the Narendra Modi government and the Indian Army. The India is completely united against Pakistan back terror. Midnight surgical strike rattles Pakistan. Nawaz Sharif admits strikes, but his embarrassed army calls it cross border firing. Pakistan goes complaining directly to America as usual, only to be handed a snub. America asks Nawaz Sharif, crack down on terror first.
You're watching the news hour at night with Arnab Goswami. Ladies and gentlemen, the days of kid glove treatment to Pakistan are over. A little after midnight on Thursday, the Indian Army unleashed a secret operation, a surgical strike that flattened over eight terrorist launch pads in a 15-kilometer radius across the line of control. Over 35 terrorists have been killed and nine Pakistan Army men who offered resistance and tried to actually support the terrorists were neutralized and there were casualties. The numbers could be higher. Tonight, India, as one, salutes its brave army for this massively successful military operation. Eleven days after the Uri terror attack, India has struck back. With special forces launching an operation across the line of control. The Indian Army conducted surgical strikes last night at these launch pads. The op operations were basically focused to ensure that these terrorists do not succeed in their design of infiltration and carrying out destruction and endangering the lives of citizens of our country. Without doubt, these surgical strikes are on Pakistani soil, obviously, because that's where the Pakistan terror launch pads are. So the headline really is this morning that India has conducted with precision multiple military surgical strikes on Pakistani soil to take out terror launch pads. The surgical strike began 12.30 a.m. in the morning. Special commandos and para-commandos were deployed for the operation. The Indian Army forces were para-dropped inside the line of control. In the four-hour-long operation, strikes were conducted at least 500 meters to 2 kilometers inside the line of control which is Pakistan occupied Kashmir and in which there were heavy casualties on the Pakistani side multiple terror hideouts were destroyed and there was damage inflicted on the terrorists now the Prime Minister has allowed the Indian Army to go across the LOC and carry out a surgical strike is this sounding like the kind of surgical strike that we carried out inside Myanmar which was carried out then by a crack team of some 60 or 70 commandos of the Indian Army they went in they conducted the operation and they came out in about 40 minutes flat and at that point of time about 38 terrorists were killed now this would have this kind of strike would have had heavy losses and so we are so proud of the Indian Army for having conducted this operation. The scale and precision of the special forces strike dealing a stunning blow to terrorists perched on launch pads in POK. Three separate heavily armed teams crossed over Pakistan occupied Kashmir to carry out this surgical strike. The strike was coordinated by the NSA and the Army Chief. Our soldiers were backed by UAVs which were providing live footage to the Northern Command as well as the tactical headquarters of the Army in Baramulla, Kupwara and Punj. The orders were clear, just shoot to kill and not leave behind any injured soldier. If you force us, we will. To protect our nation, we will stand together and we will carry out preemptive strikes. Pakistan occupied Kashmir is very much part of India and therefore we have not violated any territorial um, you know, violations. An operation that signals a dramatic shift in India's approach on dealing with cross-border terror. Displaying how terror will be slayed at the root. Bureau Report, Times Now. Tonight, on India's most watched news show, debate at 9 p.m. Pakistan taught a lesson by the Indian Army. Debate at 10 p.m. Can India afford to hold back anymore? You're watching the news hour at 9. Debate number one on Times Now, Super Prime Time. Siddhnath Nath Singh, National Secretary of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Air Vice Marshal Abed Rao, Defence Analyst from Pakistan, joining us from our studios in London. G. Parthasati, former Indian High Commissioner to Pakistan, and Jan Achaksai is leader of the PMLN, Nawaz Sharif's party and a political commentator, presumably in a state of shock today. K. C. Singh, former Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, and Hassan Khan, 
He's group editor of Khyber TV. He's joining us from Islamabad from our link there. General G.D. Bakshi, RSN Singh, formerly of the RAW from Kabul. I'm delighted to be joined by Habib Wardak, who's a political and security analyst. Mr. Wardak, thank you for joining us. And we'll be joined by a member of parliament from uh, Bangladesh also in a little while on the program this evening. Okay, Abid Rao, you know, you can wake up someone who is sleeping, Abid Rao, but you cannot wake up someone who is pretending to be asleep. We have carried out the surgical strikes. We went across the border. We have killed at least 40 Pakistani terrorists and at least nine Pakistani army personnel. So wake up, smell the coffee, and learn to behave yourself in the future because we'll have to do it again if required. Abidra. This is a surgical strike. This is a to it, it, total it ha bunch of happened. lies as far as I'm concerned. Starting from Uri, which is a self-inflicted injury by India to create the situation which is warlike, which suits the agenda of Mr. Modi. Since last two years, he has been saber rattling with Pakistan and where he's leading the two Maru countries is definitely not a pleasant thing. No the war will result, if so happens, both countries will be left with totally devastated uh, states. Hmm. You see, can you, can, you, came, can you cut out uh, all this, uh, uh, like uh, Abid Rao, Abid Rao, Abid Rao. Uh, by uh, democracy, Abid Rao. I'm telling you, their Ab agenda is common. Abid Rao. If Mr. Modi wants to provoke war, hmm. Pakistan is ready for that. Pakistan is not shying away. No. This is your first day you are celebrating the victory of Indian Army. The game has just begun. Wait till Pakistan responds. Pakistan one, one second. I'll get RSN, RSN to respond. One second, please. Just, just wait. Just wait a while. Just wait a while. Just wait a while. Just wait a while. Wait a while. Today. This, you, you please come in with your interventions as I allow It is possible that you kill 40 Abhidra people sahab. and all Indian soldiers come back. Yes. Firing yes. across line of control yes. does not mean surgical strike. Yes. Please ask RSN, the wait. RSN, RSN wait. RSN wait. RSN wait. RSN wait. Listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, One second, RSN wait. RSN you wait. RSN wait. Abid Rao, Abid Rao, Abid Rao, listen. Compose yourself. Not just as an individual. Compose yourself as a whatever you call I, it. You say you are a nation. As a nationalist Pakistani. Yeah. As a citizen compose of yourself. The compose. Compose yourself. We have been avoiding first of all, and you have first, been first beating up yourself. First you of have all. taken your people to a level where such lies you think will be useful in uh, coming okay, down. Okay, so Indian so people. tell me. You will so see tell me. Partha is amused. Abid Rao, listen. Abid Rao, listen. I've been courteous to begin with you tonight. Now, now, you must extend me the courtesy of listening to me. And may I say this to you? You're a very senior man. By request, you, sir, please compose yourself. And, and let me ask my question. Now, the point is, viewers, please understand. What are the Pakistanis saying? Partha, the Pakistanis saying no surgical strike happened. These were simply some bullets that were fired across the, uh, across the LOC. So the Pakistanis obviously are complex about Asparta, but they are complex to the point that we have some science fiction technology, that we have some bullets which fired from one side of the line of control can go through a multiple hyper curvilinear path and precisely almost like a video game, rotate themselves around several axes, kill all these soldiers, kill all the terrorists and also return back. So it's some kind of a bullet two boomerang. Soldiers, two soldiers. Abidra, how did they die, these two soldiers? We killed two of your soldiers, you admitted, right? Now, my question to you is... Sporadic firing. They are random firing. Oh, random firing. For the last 70 years, there has been this crossfire. Your soldiers die, our soldiers die. So what is new about it? Well, you're in a bind. It's absolutely no surprise to me that you've decided to deny there were any surgical strikes. And let me tell you why. Because if you admit to the surgical airstrikes, you will be admitting... One minute. This is One minute. Abid Rao. Abid Rao. has not said... Abid Rao, sun lijiye. हो गया सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक और होगा अरे आप झूठ बोले जा रहे हैं समझ जाइए सुबह से मैं देख रहा हूं समझ जाइए प्लीज नाउ नाउ लिसन टू मी इफ यू एडमिट टू द सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक यू विल बी एडमिटिंग दैट देयर वर टेररिस्ट लॉन्च पैड्स ऑन योर साइड
If you admit to the surgical airstrikes, it will be tantamount to you confirming the proof provided in India's dossier about 17 terrorist camps operating on your strike of the POK. And sure if you admit India to the surgical strikes, that. if you admit to the surgical and strikes, it will be tantamount. It will be, it will be tantamount to admitting the complete and utter incompetence, the complete and utter incompetence of your incompetent army. The fact that it has suffered nine casualties and its proxies of 35 and 40 terrorists have been neutralized. You remember, it's the start, Abid Rao. It's the start. wrong with your army. It's the start, Abid Rao. Remember this. You be afraid. Be very afraid, Abid Rao. This is the start. We you understand are that? Are this is the start. RSN is on the other side. Uh, RSN. Uh, this is the start. Punching. This is the start, Abid Rao. Get clear. You can't step Ab to bahut kuch hone wala hai. Abid Rao, RSN is responding to you. RSN. On the Pakistan issue. Abid Rao sahab. It's unfortunate. Hoga. When, when, Abid Rao sahab. Abid Rao, Abid Rao, when, when Kargil was being planned, you, you had, you had famously said, you had objected to it and you had said that after this operation, either there will be a martial law in the country or we all will be court-martialed. Did you say this? Did you say this, Mr. Abid Rao? Please, read by Did you me. say it? I and said that you are lying. Because, our, because our attempt was And you said that you are a nationalist? We should have gone full way. Did you say this? Stopped. We had gone for an objective. We aborted in 65. So, we aborted in 71. So today, today we... But so today, be a true nationalist, Abid Rao Sahib. Today, there is think of Pakistan. Pakistan think of Pakistan. The rules of engagement has changed yes, today. I, I still have. Mr. Abid Rao, the rules of engagement is going to be the new form Mr. of warfare as far as India is concerned. Every cycle, proxy Mr. cycle of attack will be heavily punctured. Then we should Pakistan is destroyed if we persist with this cycle of pro proxy war. war. The Are thousand cuts, the thousand cuts theory will now Only act in reverse. And let me tell you, Amit Rao what this operation has you. shown is that the but LOC is incidental as far as India is concerned. It takes two sides. To, to respect a line and maintain its sanctity. What is a line after all? If two sides cannot respect it, and Mr. the other Modi, message that we have given is, in is some kind of intoxication of power. You will Somebody has not braved him on the military aspect, or the war aspect. As far he as assimilation like of I, I'd, I'd like to get at this stage, right, at, at, this stage at this stage, at this stage, at this stage, viewers, RSN, one minute, we need to get everyone into the debate tonight, we need to, we need to get RSN, one minute, RSN, one minute, I can't, I can't have many voices, multiple voices speaking together, RSN, therefore I request you to stop, please, one second, one second, just one minute, now Partha, this is a unique situation. I think, and, 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 and please, 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 I request you, I request you, Abid Rao, please keep sipping as much water as you need during the course of the debate, but don't get hassled, because this is only the start of a very calibrated no. Indian response, unless I you behave I react yourself. to the lies you are telling. That's all right. Now the question is, Partha, what is it that the Pakistanis are unable to reconcile themselves to today? Partha. You see, uh, uh, you know, I, res I have generally respect for the Pakistan Air Force because unlike the Army, they are a professional force. They, I've, I've known people like Noor Khan in my days in Karachi. And they were immensely professional people who told the truth. Noor Khan told me 1965 was a mistake. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm coming to the present time. Look, th they're in denial. When I was a High Commissioner, they told us Kargil was Mujahideen. It turned out to be Northern Light Infantry. When we offered the bodies of their dead soldiers back, okay, your Air Force wouldn't have done it, Dr. Abhid Rao. But your army refused to accept their Shaheed soldiers' body back. Why? Because they were Shia and Northern Light Infantry. I'm, I mean, I'm asking, I'm talking to you as having been a soldier myself. There is a certain honor in these things. As I said, I, I don't hold the army like that, but but I do I do say that this is this is a tendency which is creeping in. If if nobody had died today, would what was the need for your national for your foreign secretary to call the American national security advisor who tells your foreign secretary, uh, well you pay for what you have done? 
So I mean, let us be very clear. And then, and then you talk to the Americans. They say, I say these guys had Osama bin Laden for 11 years next to the Kakul Academy in Abbottabad and say they know nothing about it. I mean, please look at your international credibility. That's all I'm going to I respect. I respect professional soldiers, and I am glad we buried those same. When I was High Commissioner in your country. We buried those same Shia soldiers of the Northern Light Infantry with full honors and religious respect. So, you know, when when you say this, please remember you're talking to an international audience, and that international audience is very skeptical. Beyond that, I don't want to say what will happen. We have already moved. I am a diplomat. We have moved. Your SARC is not going to take place. Four countries in SARC have said they won't come. And please bear in mind. You call us uh, kafirs or anything, and you uh, call yourself Islamic. Two of those countries boycotting you are Islamic: Afghanistan and Bangladesh. Let me tell you some more. The statements we got after Uri from, of support from Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain, and Qatar really encouraged us. So I think look at the cause, look at the wider world. You have your, your people have immense talent. Mr. Achak Sai, Mr. Achak Sai, once I get it, constant, constant no. interruptions from Mr. Achak Sai. My question to you, Mr. Achak Sai, and please take my question. Mr. Achak Sai, take my question. Take my question, Mr. Achak Sai, then go into the debate. Put me as a show. No, Arnab, I really want to put my perspective. What you have said against my country. Let me tell you the fact. The fact is that what you have today has been a Bollywood stunt. That is what you have done. Your country needs another 200 billion to distinguish between surgical strike and LOC firing. Arnav, your country I would like need to, to understand that. Sir, you are sounding desperate. Sir, you are sounding desperate tonight. Otherwise, we have. Mr. Achak Zai, it has happened. It has happened. Up, Samaj Lijiye. Sunye. Sunye, Achak Zai. Sunye. Sunye, Mr. Achak Zai. Sunye, compose yourself. Compose yourself. Shanti. Aapka. आपका आप ठंडे आप, आप, आप दिमाग से सोचिए मुझे लगता है आप अभी भी स्टेट ऑफ शॉक में हैं और पाकिस्तान में जितने लोग स्टेट ऑफ शॉक में हैं आप अपने आप को रियलाइज कीजिए कि आप इंडियन आर्मी से डील कर रहे हैं भाई आपके वो कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री आर्मी नहीं है दिस इज अस्टिकेटेड फोर्स स्टेट ऑफ शॉक यूर स्टेट ऑफ डिनाइल यूर कंट्री मैन है and we have a uh, not one soldier not one Mr. not I one speak. not one India but if you not one but, but if you check but if you check mr chakzai you will find you will find that the number of casualties of the pakistani army personnel and the number of casualties of the pakistani terrorists there are more bodies than you can put in trucks tonight be clear about that sir there are more bodies than you can put in those trucks of the pakistani rangers tonight there are more bodies of pakistani terrorists and more bodies of pakistani military personnel that you can put in those trucks of the pakistani rangers tonight mr achak zai so compose yourself so compose yourself and now i'd like to go to gd bakshi gd bakshi gd bakshi gd bakshi now please calm down gd bakshi my question to you is this gd bakshi gd bakshi why don't they accept it why don't they accept it? achak zai ji shanti arnab i like to remind the viewers of a very critical fact Calm down, and, calm down. Uh, and uh, Ajay, 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 Arnab, I would like Ajay, to you're going to burst in our trees if you continue like this. Of a very it's critical it's fact, it's the nadir of the Pakistan it's army it's was it's when it's the it's Americans it's had tell him to calm down. out it's the raid in Abbottabad. Someone Abbas. tell him to calm down. Someone you please know, tell him to calm General down. General Parvez Someone tell him to calm was down. jeered and booed by his own officers. This is their nightmare. Mr. It has happened to them Mr. a Bakshi, second time. Your soldier is with us. It has happened to them a second Mr. time. Mr. Bakshi, And your soldier. We have oh, captured oh. your soldier today. Do you want to care about Arnab, it? Arnab, Do you want to know? Arnab, I, I would like to remind viewers that the nadir of the you Pakistani are... army was when you know the Americans I had know, carried know, out the Abbottabad raid. General Kayani. Had found it impossible to face his own officers. He was almost booed and jeered by the junior officers. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. And that is why I am saying that Pakistan is in total denial, Air Marshal Abid Rao. That is why you are in such a total state of denial that you cannot accept a second time that a raid has successfully been conducted. 
your army has been caught absolutely napping that is why you are inventing these stories my question When is to hasan khan what happened you came out with the my question is to hasan khan of a, a false flag operation right you tried right. to insinuate I, I, that it was india which had killed 19 of its head, own soldiers and had had your plus. army people Have killed 35 terrorists marshal abid rao or a pakistani army as a military professional you expect india. any country to buy that my question is to habib wardak please if i can go across no, to kabul do you really expect any to habib wardak in wardak in kabul and to hasan khan now? who is group editor of khyber tv in islamabad hasan could you please ask it is hasan could you please ask mr mr achakzai to allow you to give an opportunity to speak please yes sir please drink drink from that cup of tea and calm down please now be logical tonight hasan si If this was not a surgical Look, uh, strike, uh, Hassan, think, Hassan, uh, Hassan, take uh, my I question. Take my question and then reply, please, Hassan. Yeah. My question to you is yeah, yeah. that I've been seeing everything across Pakistani TV. We've known exactly what is happening, and we've seen five press releases from your government today. Five press releases. K C Singh knows. K C Singh at one time has been the spokesperson of the Ministry of External Affairs, and nobody knows communication dissemination at diplomatic quarters more than K C Singh does. I can say that with safety. K C, before I go to Hasan Khan, five press releases from I S I, Interior Ministry, Nawaz Sharif's office two, Foreign Office spokesperson two. This kind of response, would you have had it from Pakistan in any situation where this was not a surgical strike? What does this tell you about how the Pakistanis are thinking today? Kesi, can I just get a reaction from you before I go to Islamabad? Kesi, please. You see, this is exactly what Partha was saying. That they always start with denial, whether it's a terrorist act in India or it's Kargil or it's anything else. It always begins with denial, because the army has a certain role in Pakistan and cannot do any wrong. It cannot suffer any jolt, and therefore it is insulated. Its reputation is sacrosanct. and that is why when osama's raid came they were really upset then mullah mansoor was taken out by a drone they don't know how to react to that no if drones have been raining on them americans have been killing people within the pakistan within the state of pakistan what have they done so far for that then they said no but that is america india can't do it that is america no what india has shown is that there is a doctrine which india has developed military has not said that they can't do muzaffarabad they are saying we conducted an operation along the line of control and we gone after the launch pads yeah yeah and yeah and they've been very good actually the indian military they've not tried to rub the nose of the pakistan pakistan army in the ground they've not said we've conducted conducted it against the pakistani army they said it's against the terrorists if americans can kill terrorists whom you can't control and you say you cannot control the terrorists then fine we have to take preemptive action so it's a doctrine of doctrine of preemptive action where the military has been given a free hand now so it's a signal to pakistan to recognize it this is a signal we don't want to rub your nose in the ground but you cannot continue this game of cat and mouse exactly. you facilitate they are being inducted militants being pushed into india then you throw up your hands and say we don't know anything about it and these are not our people when they are killed so then indians will come that side military will come that side and stop them yeah that is the purpose of the action today it is not to start a war with pakistan but it is for pakistan to decide how to react yeah. either take the lesson take it home ingest it and become a better force or india is ready for the next step absolutely now now i before i come to you siddharth i want to go to hasan hasan si if this was another ceasefire violation and not a surgical strike then you would have not have convened a meeting of all your chief ministers as nawaz sharif has done this time because you remember hasan when there was a serious standoff at the border and the loc in 2014 and when civilians on both sides were killed this did not happen so on the basis of your own reactions now you are spooked you are spooked with the indian response today at the, i i don't think there's any shame in admitting it that you've been taken aback you're spooked hasan as a nation and as the pakistan army hasan because if this was uh, 
if this was another ceasefire violation, Hassan, and not a surgical strike, you would not have convened a joint session of parliament to discuss the matter as an emergency scenario. Why are you calling for a joint session of parliament to discuss an emergency scenario if this is not a surgical strike? Can you tell all our viewers today, Hassan Khan? I think, look, uh, uh, first Goswami uh, said that I was, when I was coming to this show, I was expecting it to be a gentleman's discussion, uh, definitely not about war, but about peace, because it concerns more than one, uh, uh, more 1,000 and almost uh, 50 billion, uh, 1,500 million people. But the way uh, we are provoking, uh, the way the Indian uh, military or the Indian media, if this is the Indian media, uh, what I am hearing now, and I think this is my first time interacting with an Indian channel, so I am really sorry uh, that the Indian media is more far ahead than Hassan, the military strategy. Hassan, can uh, I tell you this? Can I tell you this one thing? No, no, one thing, one thing, Hassan, one thing. Siddharth, before you come in. So first of all, welcome. First time you are on an Indian news channel. That also you are on the news hour. Let me tell you, didn't you get a sense of how the people of India feel when our army went across and gave you a bloody nose today? You want to have more examples of how we feel today? Today there are celebrations all across India. So you know, you must realize I'm asking you a question. You've not answered me today. Why? You tell me simple question. We'll talk about peace later. Can you tell us why you are calling an emergency joint session of your parliament? You are so nervous. Why are you doing that? Kya hua? I think definitely. Uh, why? I think this is quite natural. When your prime when your prime minister is uh, inviting all the chief minister, when your prime minister inviting the all party conference. Is it not Pakistan is a country? It is a country where there is a political setup. I don't know if you are a country. A, if you uh, insist, if you insist, you are a country. I'll agree, but I don't know grudgingly. You say you're a country. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that. But but I but I tell you this. No no. But I tell you this, Hassan. But I tell you this, Hassan. I tell you this, Hassan. That you are in panic mode. You are in panic mode because you are quickly taking up the issue of Kashmir in response to the surgical strikes. You have already been humiliated by the United States of America in 2011 when it entered your territory and killed Osama bin Laden under your noses in Abbottabad to tell your people that in. India has done the same with your terror launch pads in Pakistan occupied Kashmir would be a national Kasami, insult to the uh, Pakistani Kasami, army. You have, uh, you have you have invited you have invited me for discussion. I have invited you for a debate. You're not being able to answer my question. This is complete. Yeah. I have invited you this for some straight talk, sir. Insanity. I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking. Uh, let's the have some straight talk, Mr. War. Hassan Khan. The way you are bringing Let's have the some war. straight talk. This is total insanity. Let's have you some straight like talk. Journalist, brother. Mr. Hassan Khan. Mr. Hassan Khan. Mr. Hassan Khan. You know, I'll tell bread. you. I'll this tell you the definition bread. of insanity. You have an insane man in your I'm country. So, I'm sorry. This the, is not. The, yes, I am an insane because the way in front of me there is an insane speaking in front of me. Now, Mr. this is not a gentleman's debate. Sure. This is not a gentleman's discussion. Asan, Why you brought me here? Asan just Khan, to abuse Mr. Pakistan. Khan. Asan, just to abuse Asan, Pakistanis. Asan, because sorry, you bleed sorry, us, brother. If you want, just Mr. to Khan, because you, you send people to kill country, us. It and, doesn't understand Siddhartha or has a body. dictionary called gentleman. Yeah. I don't think you, ca you yeah, represent sorry, a country a which understands this, the word this gentleman, is not the way. so this do is not, not preach that. Are speaking. Now, now, hang on. If you have come for a discussion and you want to talk about yeah, peace, I'm, I'm here the for first discussion. chapter that you have to open on peace is come out of the denial. There is a reality on the ground which is happening, which is promoted by your state. Now, having said that, we must rewind also. What did you do in Kargil? We, all the spokespersons have already said, those who are in the debate. You went back rushing to the president, Mr. Clinton, and begged for it of peace. Now, why did you go for that? You were at that point of time in the denial. Man. Today no, you are no, in a no, denial no, no. and you want to talk gentleman. peace. But the with Indian the denial, no, Mr. 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 Khan, please hear the me Indian out. With the, with the denial, Habib, you are minute. also threatening. Wait, Mr. Habib, I'll come afternoon we are hearing your ex-journals who are sending threats to yeah. us. Uh, we can do uh, this, we will do that. If, if there nothing has war, happened, then why is you a threat? That Pakistan, becomes an empty threat. Pakistan, and this is that, let, let me also add, India doesn't get bogged down with it. It's a paradigm shift in the Indian policy. 
towards Pakistan. And you must understand that. We have said enough is enough. You took our patience as a weakness. It wasn't a weakness. And our threshold has crossed the border. Uh, it's over. Crossed the border. As far as Pakistan's cross border terrorism is concerned, like Bollywood film, yeah. and we Hasan, and you could Bollywood be film. under the arm, army control. Just the we border. are a democratic country. Just there are the two different and things. See. Just cross the border and then see. Okay. No, no, we have already Just done that. So don't we already don't done that. We have a there is already no, 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 one second. Watch, Hassan. 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 Listen. Your, uh, your one second. One second. One second. Can I get? Can I get from Kabul? From our studios in Kabul, I'd like to get Habib Wardak into the debate tonight. Came in between. Habib. These are matter of fact. Let's get Habib Wardak on the debate tonight. He's a well-known political and security analyst from Kabul. Habib, you are seeing I've, you are seeing I've the responses been, of listening very of the guests from Pakistan. With something you'd like to say to them, please. I, I I'm am, sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, I, I'm I'm witnessing I'm witnessing uh, responses both from India and Pakistan, and I've been listening um, very patiently from the past 35 minutes. And my expectation is that all of you listen to me for the next three to four to five minutes. Go ahead. Um, surgical strikes is not a new phenomena at all in Pakistan. Um, I don't know why is it so hyped. Um, surgical strike is basically going into an area, eliminating your target without or minimal um, uh, collateral damage. Drone strikes is a very good example of, uh, uh, of uh, surgical attacks. Agreed. Uh, which is not um, a, a rare, which is a phenomena in Pakistan for the past uh, for the past six to seven to eight to nine years. So we shouldn't be um, uh, amazed that a surgical strike happened in Pakistan uh, the past two days by, uh, from India. It has, uh, it has been happening in Pakistan for the past seven to eight to nine years. Pakistan, India, uh, South Asia is a region. Um, war is not for the benefit of Pakistan, for India, for Afghanistan and the whole region. What is in the benefit for the whole region is to act against those elements which causes turbulence, disturbance, not within the territorial uh, borders of Pakistan, but across those territorial borders. That has to be taken very seriously. Terrorism is an example of uh, trash um, lying on, on surface. And Asia, South Asia is a neighborhood of houses. And if you have trash inside your house that causes diseases are uh, not just to yourself but it makes people and your neighbors sick and you're warned two to three to four to five to ten to infinite amount of times to take care of trash that has been created within your territorial boundaries and you're not doing anything about it there's a threshold to it and once that threshold is crossed you go out and you do it yourself you try to clean it for yourself which, which, is, which is not good in the first place because it shouldn't be India's business to go into to Pakistan. It shouldn't be Afghanistan's business to go into Pakistan. Pakistan should take care of it um, by itself, but it has crossed that threshold. It has, peop it has made people sick and tired of this phenomena of, um, of producing and eventually exporting terrorists across borders. Hear that. Cutting Hear that. India bleeding Afghanistan by more than 10,000 cuts. There's a threshold to it. War is not in benefit of anyone. It is not in benefit of the people of Pakistan. People of Pakistan have suffered as much as anybody else. But it is high time that the, that the Pakistani establishment, and specific to their military, and specific to their intelligence services, should realize that enough is enough because war is not in benefit of everyone and Pakistan does not have to lose much even though if it goes to war but yet again enough is enough they should they should be human enough to realize what they're doing is, is, is against humanity forget about Islam forget about kufr it's about doing the right thing it's about standing for what is right I mean what sort of interest are we talking about when they surpasses uh, the value of human lives and this is very unfortunate Habib you put it very well what this region what what this region 
what this region requires is elimination of poverty. What this region requires is, is uh, uh, infrastructure development, education. Uh, above 40% of us lives below poverty line, and yet we are busy producing Habib. elements that causes troubles in our neighborhood, no, in no, our Habib, neighbors. Habib, you and make a fine point there. You look at Islamic no, ideology. No, you, you, make, you, you, make, right. you make a fine point there, Habib. If I may intervene, sorry, I, I didn't want to intervene, but I want to take the flow of what you're saying, and I want to put this out to our Pakistani panelists. And I don't know whether, whether Abid Rao is as unreasonable as he's, he's trying to make himself sound. It appears to me that he's a reasonable man. Sometimes he wants to appear to be hyper-patriotic. He's, he's, he's in a bind out there. Uh, Emma shall Abid Rao understand this? Can I ask a simple question? Do you ever ask yourself why all surgical strikes happen in Pakistan? And I'll give you examples. You've already been humiliated by the U.S. What Osama bin Laden killed in Abbottabad, that was a surgical strike. Mullah Mansoor was killed. He was from the Afghan Taliban. He was killed in Quetta. You remember that? That was a drone strike, a surgical strike. Your soil. You understand that? These people are not caught in Iran or India or, or Kazakhstan. All these terrorists are always found in Pakistan. I, you know, Mullah Mansoor. And, and, and Habib, you will remember this, that Mullah Mansoor was killed in an American drone strike. And Pakistan called it a violation of its sovereignty. Which was a surgical strike. It's a surgical which strike. Was a, Precisely. Which was a surgical strike. It's a surgical strike. So, so the question is, Abid Rao, that these people, you know, Osama bin Laden, Mullah Mansoor, Sayyid Salahuddin, Hafiz Saeed, you know, these people threaten the interests of in all countries one, in your region. And, and one second, and one second. In no, one no, one line, second. I want to complete this and then you question. respond. I want to complete this and then you respond, sir. Don't you think that the threshold, what, what, what Habib Warda calls the threshold, you cross the threshold, what we in Hindi call Lakshman Rekha. You cross the threshold, we'll go after you. You don't expect us to do nothing and sit you there and continue to be led by you. We'll come after you, sir. We are coming Pakistan after you now. Response, whenever it comes, in whatever size it comes. The question is... Why Pakistan are the surgical America strikes all on Pakistani Pakistan soil? Answer my question. Relations. You cannot equate that. You are not America for us. We cannot go back to American We've done exactly that. that. You wake up you and face the reality. This will, this will America be, carries out surgical strikes on, on you and we Arnab, carry out Arnab, surgical Arnab, strikes. Arnab, 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 one minute. What, Habib? Habib, Arnab, Habib Arnab, is responding. Arnab, Habib. Arnab, 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 Habib. Arnab, Habib. You can say whatever you want. Yes, Habib. Arnab, you can encourage Arnab, 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 Habib. But if you're seven if I may have, people, if I may have to interrupt, look what cannot stop. Look, look, look at look at what happened. Look at what happened. I mean, there is look, better shame for your army. Look, look at what happened in 2011. Osama bin Laden was captured it near Abbottabad base. Um, look at what happened. Look, 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 look at what happened uh, in 2010, 2011, 2012. Pakistan has been denying it. Their military has, establishment has been denying it. And uh, you can't deny, you can't because deny it once, you can deny no, it twice, but you cannot deny no it for the rest of your lifetime. Uh, remember what happened in, uh, remember, what, you have to ask, you have to ask yourself a question that why did, it has to do with you have to ask yourself a question that why did, this is not, well, what, what is going on in Afghanistan, is it, is it a war of liberation for you as well? What is happening in Afghanistan? Why Definitely not. Look, look at what happened. Look, look at what happened in Pathankot. Why did you give a passport to Ramdas Bukhi? Why didn't India? It is very good to talk. Nice things. Look at what happened in Pathankot. In Pathankot, whatever happened, but India did not carry surgical, po uh, surgical attacks. But you crossed that threshold. So you Mr. have Patankuts every day in India, you have the AUF, Bakshi, the American General University, Bakshi, General, General, Bakshi, General, Bakshi, General, Bakshi, General Bakshi, General Bakshi. You house Bramdak Bukhti, he's sir, now please, in India. Sir, please he's understand. been given asylum. There is time. He's RSN terrorist. is back on the debate. You know, no, you RSN know, is back uh, on the Arnab, debate. Arnab, okay, General Bakshi. Arnab, 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 General Bakshi, General Bakshi before the General Bakshi. Yes, General Bakshi. You know, Arnab, I'd like to remind our Pakistani interlocutors that a very, very significant psychological threshold has been crossed by this operation. 
in tactical scale it may not be a very large sized or a major operation but in terms of its significance in breaching a psychological threshold it is a very significant development in south asia please don't forget that after 1965 after 1971 yes sir of coming the lc and the international border has this not, not go unnoticed you are even right in kargil you are absolutely right this not will not go unnoticed and unpunished the line of control oh no so so you were saying it is just it is just a, a cross border firing thank god you come out with the truth it has slipped it through it is a beginning admiral what ever you. you have done will be paid thank back you, to admiral. you sorry thank you air marshal thank you air marshal ah the fact of the matter is air marshal abid rao you are a reasonable man i am telling you that for 30 years this country exercised restraint we did not react to your asymmetric adventurism across the border in punjab across the border in jnk and then since 1993 all over indian cities now you have been witness to a clear paradigm shift the lc is not sacrosanct okay. anymore we accept it if you have the it. you okay. give your okay kc kc on country, the debate the right to I, cross yeah and inflict casualties no no no, no no maru maru you wanted to come in you see you see i want to i want to summarize again, i want again. i want to summarize gd gd wants gd but i want kc hasan khan I just want to summarize your situation today yeah you know i want the chance to speak yeah, yeah just just coming to just cover you see hasan khan consider the situation of your country today after these surgical strikes one you have to deal I, with un think, drone strikes on one I, you have, I, you know, I, one second I, I, hasan 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 you have to deal with un drone strikes us drone strikes on one side and you have to deal with indian strikes on the other the united states is carrying out surgical strikes on afghan taliban and haqqani hideouts in pakistani territory it's in no position to tell us you don't do the same we are doing what the americans do and we are all going to come and hammer you not how are you with the minimum collateral damage go after the terrorist camps your interest hasan is in joining indian and american forces and all forces who come into your soil though this is actually our soil it's pakistan occupied kashmir who come into your areas where you have your people and take out your terrorists you should be thanking the indian army today hasan we are delivering to you the you lives of pakistani terrorists we are killing them for you you say you are hit by terrorism we are killing the terrorists for you and we went to our territory you should say thank you to the indian army for doing what it did today unfortunately you don't realize uh, that you are facing is, uh, a war on terrorism uh, on your soil I, on two fronts no you uh, no no one second the western and tribal areas uh, exactly. where the afghan no, yeah, taliban yeah. and haqqani networks are flourishing as a result of your protection and on the eastern front with india where you look, protect uh, terrorists uh, who make their way into just, kashmir just hasan look, understand your mind okay. hasan question understand your taken. situation yeah the question is taken yeah. the question is taken yes yes i know uh, the area to which i belong i suffered a lot of terrorism and i am still suffering especially uh, northwest of pakistan this is the uh, khyber pakhtunkhwa in the so tribal say tribal thank you to the indian and army hasan and i understand and i understand look look listen at least give me some time to speak please i will request uh, to speak let me uh, say something Uh, i know i know the 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 the, 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 the agony of the indian people uh, who are, who are facing definitely when there is a terrorist activity i know the blood of the innocent people the mothers crying the children crying the elders crying yes that that, that is an issue and i agree with habib wardak that this is a big issue and we must deal this issue of terrorism it's, 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 extremism jaily not the way unfortunately uh we are trying to establish that you have done a surgical strike yeah you have done a surgical strike let's say like, i will agree just for the sake of discussion with you what you have achieved i it, ever you are trying to militarize the whole pakistani society yes we pakistani nation is just behind its forces and i think the day you cross the red line 
as we have given it to the American also. The day you cross the red line, you will feel the heat. So I think okay. instead of I think Maruf needs to come in here. Instead of putting the 1,500 million people uh, into poverty, as Abhi Bhardak said, you are a you are a Pashtun. War bring poverty. No, no, you, you are a you are a you are a Pashtun. No, no, one second, one second. Maruf will respond I'm to you. Pakistan. But I but I no, no, one second. You are a Pashtun. You are a Pashtun. You should know what the Punjabi generals of the Indian, of, of the Pakistani army have done to you. You should rise against that. Anyway, it's no, your choice. I'm, I'm it's a, your choice. I'm I'd like Maruf to come in. Maruf. Maruf to come Maruf. 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 This is not, this is not an issue of Punjabi or Pashtun. Anyway, I'm let's, a Pakistani. Let's I not, uh, the way you are, uh, why you let's are not get into, war. Let's not get into Zarbe Azab. I have my own views on it. And so do many international observers. But let me respond to the other points you've made, sir. The first point is, Pakistan society has traditionally backed the military and its agenda. All your military interventions and politics have been welcomed by your people. Unlike the recent example in Turkey, where the military decided to take over again and push Mr. Erdogan away, and the people on the streets of Istanbul clobbered their soldiers who were weeping and asking for forgiveness when they put them out, out of business. So if there is a lesson for you, instead of going against with the military narrative, it may do you some good to produce a counter narrative within your country. The second point I wish to bring out is that this operation does not militarize Pakistan society, but perhaps helps both India and Pakistan to redefine their relationship that how much you want Indian patients to keep absorbing, whether this is a strategic lesson, time will tell. It is certainly a tactical shot in the arm and a turning point in how we will respond in future should the threshold be closed. But let me say that the Indian DGMO made it quite clear that this was not an attack on Pakistani military forces or their troops. This was an attack on terrorists, on pinpointed information who were planning to cross over into India and do once again impunity with which they have done in the past. The other point to understand is Pakistan has had three turning points in recent memory in, term, in, te, in terms of dealing with uh, this unconventional conflicts. One was the humiliation when Osama bin Laden was found there, first denied by your military, then having to accept it based on overwhelming evidence. Hafiz Saeed even led Omar, Osama bin Laden's janaza ki namaz. Agar wo zinda tha, to uski janaza ki namaz kiu padi. The next point is that the Peshawar attacks of 16 December two years ago again were an inflection point, but you again began to go with the narrative that those who attack you are terrorists, those who attack Indians are your freedom fighters and your proxy warriors. Well said, Maru. I am Ashal Abid Rao. I am Ashal Abid Rao is a very highly educated and sensible man. I have had the privilege of a cup of tea with him in London. So I feel sad when he echoes the Pakistani ISI narrative because I know deep inside there are good people like him, but unfortunately victims of a system which has completely got disoriented. The final point, sir, which I want to make, that India's in military operation was in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, which we constitutionally claim. You don't claim it as part of your Absolutely. territory by your constitution. It is Indian territory. And hot pursuit which we Absolutely. carried out is an internationally yes, yes. military operation. from Kabul. Habib from, from Kabul also. It is an military operation which any military Habib, in the I world a, can I take it a very as a defensive solution. measure to foil an impending attack if required. I have a, this is legally I have a very logical and solution. Let me also tell you that in Akbar Ahmed's book, on the thistle and the I drone, he has repeatedly solution. cited Pakistani politicians who deny in public that they will accept American drone attacks, but off the record tell Americans that go ahead and do it, but don't make it too embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, going across to Habib Wardak, going across to Habib going across to Habib Wardak now, please, Habib. I have a logical solution. I have a logical solution. I have a very logical solution. Uh, for the love of God, let's please not raise our voices, but to look for solutions. A, war is not in the benefit of anyone. Two, Pakistan cannot deny that there are elements in Pakistan which creates turbulences and disturbance. So that's a fact. India, United States of America does not have to act 
unilaterally into surgical attacks or attacks similar, given that Pakistan comes out of this denial phase and realizes that, yes, this is a problem. If they cannot solve it, given that they spend 65 to 70 percent of their budget on military and military intelligence, they could ask us genuinely, so we, the region, India, RSN, RSN, uh, United States, RSN is Republic, coming in, R R R RSN, RSN is coming in, genuinely, Arnab, so that we could eliminate this, this problem. No, 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 R RSN uh, is coming in, but, but, but I, I just before, uh, no, 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 one sec, one sec, Habib, 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 remember, Habib, remember, war is not an option, and please yes. be clear today, what we have done today is not war, uh, we have Arnab. the right to act within our own territory it's in defense of our own nation, Siddharth coming to you. It's not, it's not. No, no, no. No, no, watch it. Siddharth, make your point. Siddharth, quickly, moving on. Siddharth is responding. Mr. Habib, whatever you have said is a welcome thought. Mr. Habib, Mr. Habib, please listen to others also. You, Whatever you have said is a welcome thought. We do agree with it. And that's exactly where the India had started off. Beginning from the date, Mr. Modi took oath. But somewhere down the line, the, uh, the, the Pakistani establishment, the civil establishment, changed the track under whatever the pressure from the armed forces is, the Pakistani armed forces. Now you are asking them to do but the same. Full, I don't think people, the Indian threshold is going to come down really and say we are ready to accept it. No, sorry, we will not accept it. Pakistan, Pakistan must walk. The talk now. Hassan. If they are saying they are going to fight the terrorism, Hassan. they must honor the January 2004 agreement that they had signed with India. Hassan. We want that to happen and then we go ahead with Hassan. them. Hassan, well, Hassan. Stop Hassan. 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 one second. I want to one minute. Habib, yeah. Habib. Yeah. Habib. Yeah. Habib. Habib, one second. Habib, wait. I have a they question to Hassan. Fight the war. No, no, Habib, Habib, one second. Habib, you had your say. My question to Hassan is this. Look at it in perspective, okay? If there needs to be peace, Habib, then there needs to be absence of terrorism on both sides. Now, every country has a right to take revenge. And I just want to tell you today, as per your own media releases, Hassan Khan, a targeted area today were the launch pads in the hot spring sector. I want to remind you that in 2013, after the beheading of Indian soldiers, India retaliated through firing in the hot springs area. This is where you push your infiltrators from. This is the area where the beheadings happen. And this is why we have decided to penetrate your launch pads in hot springs. Another area is the Lipa sector, Hassan, I hope you can hear me. A BSF Jawan was killed in 2015 in a ceasefire violation. You can't get away with it. We've taken revenge in that area also. Another target area, Hassan, is the launch pad in Bimber. This is where you targeted Indian civilians on our side of the LOC in 2015. We've targeted Bimber. So all the areas we targeted are areas where you kill Indian personnel, Indian civilians, and Indian forces from. We have taken our revenge, and we've only started. These are areas where you had your terror camps, you thought you could get away with it. We are telling you today, we are telling you today, if you try to do this once again, we'll come there and we'll eliminate the whole lot in one move, and you won't know what's hit you, Hassan. Then we can talk about peace. Do you understand, Hassan? Yeah. That is the starting point of talking about peace. You don't talk about peace with terror launch pads on your side, you understand that? Let's, let's talk, let's talk, I think, uh, yes, uh, take the discussion a bit forward. Yes, we have a long history, we have almost 70 years between Pakistan uh, and India. This is not only Pakistan, your Prime Minister went to Dhaka and he accepted that the atrocities in 1970s when Bangladesh was uh, separated East Pakistan. Thank you for accepting Pakistani West. atrocities, you thank you, Hassan. You thank you for acknowledging Pakistani atrocities, thank you, Hassan. Thank you. As a Pakistani, to openly admit exactly. Pakistani atrocities is brave. Thank you very the much. The Indian Prime Minister, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said... Maruf is responding, Maruf. ...part of the atrocities. No, no, Maruf, Hassan. Maruf, I'm Maruf. Sorry, Maruf. Mr. Hassan. Uh, Mr. Think... Hassan, please get real. This is your ISPR propaganda that Prime Minister Modi accepted Indian atrocities. 
your what army you are doing. is rape what and murder. Doing. Doing. Meri baat suniye Hasan Saab. Listen to me. Have you ever been to Dhaka? Mr. Hasan, have you ever been to Dhaka? Please go there. Please go to Dhaka and walk up the steps of the Dhaka class. And you will be reminded with photographs of the genocide your army conducted. And let me also tell you, Mr. Hasan, that your army pleaded at the time of surrender to be allowed to keep their weapons so that they are not linked God by the Bangladeshis whose Amir, wives and mothers they had raped and, and don't humiliated. To so please don't war. give me this bullshit Pakistan about is our in atrocities in Bangladesh. Ready. The Yahya Khan the told Tikta Khan, you murder to, 3 million look, people, you go to they will eat out of your hands. That is why Tikta Khan the became blood of the butcher of butcher Bangladesh and then the butcher of Baluchistan. Your Hamidur Rahman Commission report says that. It you are completely you. misinformed. For you, Read brother. your own literature and widen your war, horizons. War and don't give us this crap completely brother, on war Indian channels for you. that we conducted I atrocities. Know what war is. For heaven's sake, fa- at least now admit myself. your army is a bunch of bloated marauders. Stop it, they yeah. have no, they, they refuse to accept it, their own yeah. dead Stop soldiers it. in Kargil. I know my army. That army, I know my army has no standing. I have a if I belong to such an army, I would have army. committed suicide long ago. India. The way you I'm are so talking, sorry brother. to say that your army John in the annals put, of John nations stands so low in esteem. You can do muscle flexing Indian. with innocent civilians. You can't fight Delhi. real men. That's your bloody problem. And I have seen the life of the life of poor people in the uh, New Delhi streets. For oh, God's don't sake, give me moral don't about go for it. Don't give us moral please, lectures. Please, yeah. please, please. Listen, 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 version of history. Get real, yeah. Which world are you in? Arisen on the debate tonight, closing this debate in a couple of minutes of Pakistan, he gets no mood to actually realize so that they've been the subject of surgical so strikes. Arisen, please. Arisen. Arisen. Arisen, please. Arisen. Do you want a war? Do you want a conflict? Arnab, Arisen. Arnab, anybody, anybody, anybody yes, who, who labels yes, this on Ar- going Ar- proxy Ar- war read the report from of the Pakistan Ar- as terrorism is doing a great disservice to this country. For Remember, Asia. for Open last eyes, two and, and a half decades, the Pakistan military has Open abandoned all read pretensions the, Russia, of a professional military. It has been fighting through proxies through the jihadis. Dear now, Dear how do you tell, you can any of these experts the tell me from Pakistan you that how do you deal is. with a state which has abandoned, which has, whose military has abandoned fighting is. and outsources to the, to the jihadis? Now, now let me tell you, Arnab. If there is a reaction from Pakistan to this, it will again be through suicide bombers. Take me. Their Don't army, shout. their military is Don't too shout. covered. Too covered Don't to shout. come, come and you know, engage in any Don't sort of shout. a duel with the Indian talk army. Like a gentleman. You, you take it from me. Brother, if there is a reaction, like a it will be Don't through shout. suicide bombers. I can a nation, louder than a nation that relies on suicide I bombers. Shout. I Remember, it is not a nation you. state. Hassan. That is the definition of a failed state. Hassan. That is the definition of a failed state. For God's sake, a nation which relies on suicide bombers. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, Partha Hassan. Hassan, one second, one second, one second. Partha, Partha on this let, part of the debate. You, Hassan, yeah. Hassan, Please we said... Please do not compare us with Americans. They are an extra-regional power. We are your, we are your neighbors and we will take every action under the sun to and defend our shout. territory and I our people. I can hear you. We do, sent Hassan. Uh, I'd like, I'd like American Partha to come in. Arisen, 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 I'll get Partha to come in. And I, I, just to uh, Hassan uh, on uh, the uh, side before Hassan, Partha Hassan, comes Hassan, in. Hassan, uh, Partha, before you I've come in, Hassan, 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 before Partha come, before Partha, before you come in, Hassan, we sent 200 gentlemen across the LOC. Yeah, you still not recovered from that. You want to experience some more Indian gentlemen? You won't be able to stand. Okay. Hassan, I have, a, I, have, I, have a, I have an important... Hassan Saab, I, I, I have visited Peshawar. I've had many friends there. 
I have lived five and a half years in your country. Oh, welcome again. You are welcome But, again. Th welcome I, I, I will come, please. I, I have too many friends. I don't carry ad enmity to friends. But I want to ask you one question. You were praising the Pakistan military. Now you are a good Pashtun. You are from the settled areas, not the tribal areas. I take it. You are from the settled areas or tribal areas? No. Yes, I am from Peshawar. I am from Peshawar. Ah, Peshawar. Right. That doesn't make any sense. I am from Pakistan. Just, 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 just a minute. This army you praise so much has carried out. In North and South Waziristan and in the Khyber Agency, military operations against your Pashtun people, where 850,000 have been rendered homeless, 50,000 have fled into uh, Afghanistan. They have bombed and strafed your houses using F-16s. In in North and South Waziristan and Khyber Agency, and you are admiring this organization as a Pashtun. I mean, I, love, I mean, I admire your patriotism. <laughs> But if someone bombed my houses and someone sent 800,000 of my people, okay, you have you have a point. Uh, you have a point. Yes, there is there is a, there is a disagreement. I oppose mm -hmm. that. Yes. But as a Pakistani, I know that this military has get rid me of the terrorist. What was my position? You are you know. What when Peshawar school was attacked? So, so you attacked the Peshawar school. So when you are when you are when, so when you are military, the terrorists no, no, just a minute, and to just a minute, those just just just. Again. I shall answer you. I will answer you. Je, your political party you elected, Imran Khan never declared them a terrorist. You are joining the army and opposing your elected provincial government to declare them terrorist. People whose homes have been bombed. I know this is not the, the Bacha Khan. No, no, not, no, this is no, not. Talking, this is not Bacha Khan. Not this frontier province that I know. I'm. No, no. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Talking of the I, 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 I admire the. the I admire the Pashtun. Pashtun offered. It's not the first time. This is not the first time that the Pashtuns so are sacrificing their lives for Pakistan. We did that in 1947. We did that in 1960. No, on a sense, by all means, we did it in this war. By all means, by all means, Pakistani. Do it for Pakistan. This is my blood. Do it for Pakistan. Pakistan is my blood. I have no problem with you. No, no, do it for Pakistan. Do it for Pakistan. By all means, give your blood in blood transfusion. But the fact of the matter is, do it for Pakistan, and I'll I'll appreciate that. But you're doing it for people, the army. Nawaz Sharif opposed it. Your provincial government opposed it. The army did it, which no, and no, you are appreciating your no, army army of sense of shame. It was, I, I think I did part. I made a strong point there. R S N is intervening, and then we close in a minute. R S N, yes. I told Dawa official yes. official funding, and you say it is terrorism. What what I was saying, I will repeat this again. Imran Khan officially funding Samir Al Haq's seminary. Now look at the same, uh, you know, seminary which planned the assassination of Benazir, Benazir Bhutto. Then you have the entire Pakistan. Okay, closing establishment this debate. Funding the Lal Masjid. Closing this debate. You know, its head Abdul Aziz. After that, all that action, he has been allotted land. He has been allotted land. Closing this debate tonight. Of Islamabad. Closing this debate tonight Islamabad at this point. Sharif, uh, and Nawaz Sharif. I, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, I understand. I, uh, RSN, 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 RSN. I'm closing this part of the debate. I'm closing this part of the debate. The one thing that comes across to me, Maruf, is the complete embarrassment of the fact that many of our Pakistani guests are just unable to accept on record that the Indian Army crossed the line of control, gave them a bloody nose, killed their terrorists, killed their soldiers, and came back unhurt. I think they are stunned with the professionalism and competence of the of, of the of the Indian Army, yeah, Maruf. Maruf. Or not, yeah. or not, you will need to give them at least a week to come up with a new narrative. You know, you remember one thing, whatever we do, they will come up with a half convincing set of lies But within Maru, a week. So let us wait and watch this But Maru, one narrative which is changing here, and you may have observed it in Partha as well, is that today the peaceniks are all going into hiding. You remember, Maru, one month back, after Burhanwani was killed, Some people came out and said, "Oh, poor Burhanwani, right? Yeah. Son, son of a." And you remember, Siddharth, there were some people who said, "Son of a headmaster forced by the cruel Indians." Apologists. Indian
the Pakistan apologists, the pro Pak brigade, as I call them at that yeah. point of time, all gone into hiding today. We're going to, when we come back tonight, we're going to talk about that change of narrative. The so don't go away. The statement. Don't, so don't go away. You remember that, RSN. So don't go away. That narrative is changing in India as well. The national mood is changing. And on a day when the Pakistanis terrorists and the Pakistani army has been taught a lesson by our brave commandos. I'll be back on the other side in a few minutes. Burhan, Burhan. The news hour at nine with Arnab Goswami. We'll be right back after the break.